Hi, it's Martin and welcome to another video on my Knit365 YouTube channel. Today's video is crochet themed, inspired, and it's an introductory video to a new mini series that I'm going to be doing. And it's not going to be a mini series for this year. It's going to go into next year. It's a lot of work, but I'm super excited to jump in and get going. Um, the video series is going to follow Toft. If you've been here for a while, you know I'm a huge fan of Kerry um, and the team at Toft. And I'm a bit of a Toft addict, which is great. I love it. Toft produce um, some amazing British wool and design patterns, predominantly crochet and the amigurumi style um, of animals and dolls, but also produce um, knitting patterns as well. And I've made a number of knitting and crochet patterns of Toft's. Um, over recent years. Today I'm going to be talking about the Making Women Who Made History series. Um, this is the latest Ed's doll uh, creation. So this is going to be Marie Curie and you can see her lovely little dafts there. More on Marie Curie in a moment. But this is um, a video series all about the Ed's Dolls Club. So I've made a number of Toft items and I've made one doll, two dolls, one doll. I did the um, advent doll um, a couple of years ago and I made my white wizard who we named Llewellyn. I'll actually pop a quick picture of him on screen now. Super cute, I would love to have hair like him. Um, and there's a mini series or there's a series of kits that Toft produced around the making women who made history. And when they first came out, I was new-ish to Toff. So they kind of, they were on my radar. I knew about the kits that they were coming. But I just didn't, at that time, I didn't get on board with them. And I'm a little bit of a magpie. I've decided that I kind of, if I'm into something, I kind of need all of that thing. And, and it, it, it doesn't become an obsession. Probably is a bit of an obsession. But I just love to have everything in that series. And I then didn't start to take part in the Dolls Club um, for the women's series because I couldn't get the, the previous editions. Well, fast forward and um, at the um, beginning of this year, Toft put out that uh, on their social media that they were attending the Stitches show um, in London, which has just gone um, last weekend in March. Um, it was last weekend in March, not the last weekend in March. Um, it was on the 5th of March, which happened to be my birthday. Good timing. And they were re-releasing all of the past editions as well as releasing two limited edition dolls. And I was just like, this is my moment. This is how I can get involved in the Women Who Made History series. And yeah, I've gone a bit crazy. We have a box. All will be revealed in a moment. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm setting myself a challenge. I've got all of the dolls. Um, it's my birthday. I had money left over from Christmas as well. I, it's an investment and I've decided to jump in and get all the dolls um, in one go. But this is where I'm then saying it's a long-term project because I'm not even going to be able to make one dollar a month because I've got loads of other projects that I want to watch. And if you've been here a while, you're like, Martin, you've got all these works in progress. How on earth are you going to fit all these in? I know. I've had the conversation with Mark. No, I don't know where all the wool is going to, work, uh, going to live. No, I don't know when I'm going to have time to do them. But am I super excited to take part? Absolutely. Um, so Mark is fine. It'll be, it'll be okay. Um, so I'm going to start with some of the dolls and I'm really looking forward to um, getting them going. Um, I talked in a previous video, I think it might be my January video, that I'd purchased one of the dolls and I read through the card. We're going to open one of the dolls now and I'll show you what's in the in the package. Um, but as I was at the Stitches show on the weekend, I was really fortunate to be able to um, take some video footage of the exhibition. So Toft had a stall at the show and next to the Toft stall, you'll see shortly, um, they had an exhibition with all of the dolls 
and all of these amazing women that they've immortalized now in yarny, fibery crochet creations. So I've taken some footage of the, um, the exhibition together and I've also got some individual photographs of each of the dolls. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a montage now. I'll put in the footage that I took of the exhibition and also then um, just focus and do a snapshot on each of the dolls in the series. Um, just in case you want to see them in a little bit more detail. Um, the only thing I'm gonna add before I put the footage in, um, the exhibition was really, really lovely lit, but the lights um, above make some of the footage flicker ever so slightly. So um, I, don't, I don't know if there's a health warning or a medical warning, or whatever, but I, if some people are sensitive to flickering light, um, it, it doesn't do it through the whole clip. Um, it's the angle of the camera and some of the light. So just be warned um, if you are sensitive to flickering images, um, you can skip forward a couple of seconds, but um, it, it, it will be fine hopefully for you. Um, and I hope that you enjoy the footage. So I will be back in a moment and then we'll go through them in a bit more detail.
and your back. And I hope that you were inspired by that, like I was inspired by them and partly being, as I said, a bit of a magpie that I need to have one of everything in the series. Like there are so many collections that Toff do. They have, um, there was a pin badge collection and there's a hand dyed um, collection that every quarter they hand dye yarn and create a pattern with it. There's a grow your own or a crow your own, crochet your own um, flower series. There's um, different collections then within the, the crochet world. Um, so there's a, um, an, a farm animals and there's a sea life. And I think the, the thing I love about Toft is that there's something for everybody if you're into fiber arts, whether that's the crochet or the knitting. Um, and these videos are absolutely not sponsored. You, if you've been here a while, you know there are a few brands that I absolutely love. And I talk about them really naturally because they're brands that I love and I want to share with you. You know, this isn't sponsored. This isn't a paid for partnership. I've bought all these kits um, for this, this mini series. Um, and I just love collecting things and then kind of working through. Um, but I've certainly got enough wool now that's going to last me. I say this isn't there's a yarn festival at the end of April I'm not buying any more wool I've generally got enough knitting and crochet projects to last me a good two years um so I'm really gonna knuckle down and have a go through some stash but I just hope that you in you were in kind of inspired by that mini series and I said that there's lots of collections from within the Toft world and for me the dolls was one that I really wanted to get on board with but because I couldn't have them all I knew I'd kind of have, oh, I've got six of them, but there were three in the early series that I didn't get. And for me, that's kind of, it's it's all or nothing. So I was really excited when Toft re-released all of the, the, the previous dolls, um, which meant that I could take part in them. So I've got this big box of Toft goodness now, and I'll show you some of them in a moment. The other thing that they've released, um, and again, if you've been here for a while and followed my Toft journey, you'll know that Toft have... Um, some iron-on patches that they give out. Some of the, all of the staff members at the shows have their own patch. And if you kind of do a show and tell and take some items with you to the show, um, you can get a patch. So here's Kerry's patch. This is Kerry the Chameleon. Um, and the patches are are brilliant. So we've got Rach the Bed Linton Terrier. Um, Natasha is always at the show, Tash. So I've got Tash the Sloth. Um, which is brilliant. And again, it's kind of a collector's thing that um, people go wild for these patches. Um, but this weekend, when they re-released as part of the, the Women Who Made History series, to tie in, um, they've released a new patch. Um, so we've got a rosette patch, which says Deeds Not Words. And this is obviously linked to Emmeline Pankhurst, who, as if by magic, is the first kit that I have. So I'm not going to open all of the kits um, because they're going to live in a box. They're going to live in the spare room. And then every couple of months, I'll get a kit out and then I'll start to work through that kit. But I wanted to talk about a couple of specific ones because Emmeline is the first one. And it's going to be the one that I start with. And I'm doing my own sort of mini, also mini challenge that whenever I have a patch, I want to make the corresponding item. So um, I talked about... Kerry the Chameleon. I have made Kerry the Chameleon and I'll have shown that off in previous videos. So at some point for all the patches that I have, I will have the corresponding item. It's not just a case of collecting something for the sake of collecting it. I want it to kind of, to mean something to me personally as part of my own stash, my own collection. So that's my plan. So I'm going to start with Emmeline because she links to the patch. But let's quickly open Emmeline up. Excuse the wrestling. So within each of the bags, again, excuse the wrestling, you have all of the wool to make the item. So we've got lots of different colours, we've got the amethyst, which is this purple, we've got this lovely chestnut colour, um, we've got some charcoal and some green and all these lovely colours um, 
and you get everything that you need within here. So we've also got some um, embroidery thread, which I'm guessing, if I look at this, is going to be for the sash. So all of the things that you need come in the kit. You just need your own stuff in and a crochet hook. But what you also get within these kits, I pushed it out of the way now, no more rustling, I promise. Um, you get a little postcard that goes with Ed's Dolls Club. So um, on the reverse, it gives you a little bit of information about the doll. So this was the instalment from March 2020. Um, so Emmeline Pankhurst was born on the 15th of July, 1858 in Manchester, and she died on the 14th of June, 1928 in London. She is acclaimed for political activism. And then there's some information then about Emmeline. So best known for her pivotal role in the UK suffragette movement and her ardent campaign for women to achieve the right to vote. An active suffragist since the age of 14, Emily was involved in a host of groups and campaigns, all, work, all working towards gaining equal voting rights for women before founding the Women's Social and Political Union in 1903. And then lots more blurb about Emmeline. So I love that each of these bags has a sort of a souvenir postcard kit, if you like, that talks about it. So Emmeline's going to be my first one that I'm going to make. And of course, you've seen all of the other kits that are there, including the two limited editions. Um, I did say no more wrestling, I'm sorry. Um, so the one limited edition is Nefertiti, obviously Queen of Egypt, um, circa 1370 to 1330 BC, a long time ago. Um, and then the other kit, which I kind of hoped that this would be the kit for this quarter, um, but it's not, it's a special edition one. We have Queen Elizabeth and she was just magnificent. Seeing her on display with her crown and the sash and that really lovely robe or cape. Um, so I'm super excited to get going with Elizabeth. Um, with these, um, also anything that you need within the kit, um, you get a little, this sort of a little bag that, so they, that's got all the beads in, um, et cetera, et cetera. So as a kit, they are brilliant because everything that you need, apart from the stuffing and the crochet hook, as I said, is, is within here. Liz has a special limited edition tote as well. Um, so my plan is to do Emmeline as my first one because she will tie in with the um, Votes for Women and um, the Deeds Not Words patch. And then the other one that I'm going to make um, quite quickly is hopefully Queen Elizabeth because Queen Elizabeth, obviously, um, in from a UK perspective, if you are a royalist or aren't a royalist, um, it's 70 years on the throne for um, our Queen Elizabeth II, which is just, like, it's bonkers, like, that she's been queen for so long. I don't ever remember my life, I'm 41, I don't ever remember my life without the queen in it. So it's fantastic that she's gonna be immortalized in crochet. So they're my two dolls, and my plan, ideally, is to get both of those done by June. That feels achievable, doesn't it? I'll get Emmeline done first, and then I want to get Elizabeth done by June by the coronation, so that I've got the coronation doll. Um, and then the rest, I'll just, I think I'll always have a doll on the go. In the same way that, you know, if you're a, a sock knitter, um, you've always got a sock on the go, haven't you? And I've always got a sock on the go, but I kind of feel like I'm always going to have a doll on the go now. So I'm going to find a project bag from somewhere and I'll tip all the bits out and then I'll just try and do a little bit of crochet every so often and just check in um, on the doll. You know, I, I did a little bit of crochet on them every day um, when I did the advent doll and I finished it in 24 days. So if I could do a little bit every day, then I could do one a month, but I'm absolutely not committing to do that because I've got my 12 birds creation, I've got more knitted jumpers than I can shake a wardrobe at, I need to get done. So this is completely stress-free crochet. I've got the kits, they're gonna live in this box, in the spare room, and I'll just get to them as and when. And at some point, 
I'll catch up. This quarters, or this, this new one, is um, Marie Curie. So I just talked about Nefertiti and Queen Elizabeth. They were the special limited edition ones done for the Stitches show to go with the Women Who Made History exhibition. This quarters, um, or this, I think they're, they're three a year. So this, this next instalment is actually Marie Curie. Um, so I don't know what I might do is I might do Emmeline and the Queen and then I'll start with Marie Curie um, because she's the most recent one and then maybe I'll check in and I'll do the new ones um, but then I'll go back and do the older ones I don't know we'll we'll get there somewhere um, so I just thought I'd pop along and as I said share this with you that this is very much my plan for my Toft dolls um, and I might film some specific footage um, over time on these, but certainly I'll, you know, if I'll, I talk about these in my monthly wrap ups, this is what I've been working on. I can show you my doll and then I wanted to record this video so I can say, meet Emmeline Pankhurst or I'm halfway through the Queen. If you want to know more about the Ed Doll series, go back and check out the dolls video. So it's kind of a bit of a point in time introduction, really, as I said, and I can show off the dolls that we had in the collection as at March 2022. So, um, yeah, I don't think there's much more that I'm going to say. Um, this video will be up in early March and I'm going to pop this on my, it'll probably go on my Instagram feed before this video goes up, but I'm going to host a doll along um, on my Instagram. Um, I was chatting to some people who kind of tagged me in posts over the weekend on Instagram and I said that I was going to start making some dolls and two people actually said the same thing to me. They said, I've got dolls in my collection from Toft, but I'm too afraid to do them because I don't want to ruin them. And I've kind of, if you've watched my channel for a while, you know I'm all about stress-free knitting and crochet. Like, it, life's too short. If you get started and you make a mistake, stop rip it back start again like it's just wool so i'm not one for really believing like oh i've got that skein in my stash that it's too good to use like i don't personally i don't subscribe to that i just feel like find the perfect project and just have a go and if you make a mistake we'll start again and i mentioned to someone and i joked oh maybe we should do a little crochet along and we can support each other and before i knew it i had five or six people that reply saying oh that sounds great i'd love to join in so if you have an Ed's doll. It doesn't need to be one of the women in history, but if you've got an Ed's doll in your stash or your collection and you want to come and join in with my doll along, I probably need a different name for it, Mark, said I can't keep calling it a doll along. Um, but if you want to join in, um, come and find me over on Instagram. I'm going to pop a post on my feed and people can comment and reply and tell me that you're in. We'll work out a hashtag that I'll pop on that feed for you to um, tag me and I can see um, see your your posts um, and we can just cheer each other on and support. I did mention to Kerry um, on the weekend when I was chatting to her at the Stitcher show that I'm going to do an informal doll along um, and she did say that maybe she'll pop along if we get stuck and we need some technical support. So um, stay tuned. We might be able to get Kerry along for a little cameo as well, which will be amazing. Um, so yeah, if you want to take part in the doll along with me, um, then please come and find me on Instagram at Welsh Tenor. It will be on screen out at the end so that you can come and find me um, and we'll work out a hashtag so that we can all see each other um, and just support each other and kind of continue that community spirit, that community vibe um, and get everything done. So I'm going to run the doll along until the end of April because I'm not going to finish a doll in March. I know I'm not. So I think we'll run it until the end of April. So we've got seven weeks, eight weeks to do a doll. Um, and then maybe we'll do a little prize draw or something at the end. I'll Anyone that finishes a doll in that period, um, we'll see if we can get... Um, I've got some... Um, I've got a big stash. I'll see if there's um, some lovely hand-dyed yarn or something in my stash that I can offer up as a prize. Um, 
but we'll, we'll, we'll work out the details. You know me again, no fuss. The dollar long is the most important. If you want to start, start. Come and find me on Instagram um, or tag me below. Let me know if you want to join in. Um, if you don't use Instagram, I'm happy to give you my email address and you can kind of email your submissions um, over by the end of April. So I'll, I'll mention that again in my March video um, and at some point in April. But I hope that you um, will join in if you are a Toft lover and you have some um, doll video, uh, doll videos, doll kits, um, or doll patterns, and use your own wool. Again, there's no no requirement on this. You don't need to use the Toft yarn if you've got um, a Toft pattern. That's the only requirement. Um, I don't really mind what wool you use. Just get stuck in. Come and join me on the doll adventure. So I'm going to wrap this video up here. As I said, generally, um, generally just an introduction to Ed's Dolls Club for me personally and my recent discovery. I hope that you enjoyed the footage of the Stitcher show. And yeah, let me know below if you've taken part. Are you up to date? I bet there's loads of people that have been part of the Dolls Club since the beginning and have made all the dolls. Are you like some other um, the community that you have the dolls and too afraid? Get involved in the... Um, come and join me in the doll along and we'll cheer each other on. Um, so I'm going to leave this video there for now. Um, thank you so much for giving me a bit more of your time. If you were new here and you've just found me, hi, welcome, lovely to have you. Please click on that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe, but it helps me to grow my community and give this video a little thumbs up. Um, I love um, responding to the videos, especially the comments below. So um, if I if you leave a comment, I will get you at some point, I promise. Um, I'm a little bit behind with some of my comments, but that's okay. No stress. Uh, so until we speak again, happy crafting.